Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So today I'm doing compression tests, had quite a few requests for this, and I want to know how these PSA S3612s perform, both compared to my last subs, which were a pair of SVS SB16s, and just want to see ballpark where these things end up. Now I know just from listening, just from playing around, I have significantly more volume certainly significantly more pressure in here. We've just about tripled the area of the cones going from dual 15s to quad 18s. I got exactly what I wanted, more pressure in the room. I had enough volume before. The SB16s were maxing out here at 110 dB, right around 20 before reaching compression. And that was more than enough. That was beyond what I liked to listen at, which is typically just below reference level. But I know these are going way beyond that because I have new things vibrating and falling down that never moved before. But luckily, that only happens at ridiculous volumes that I simply don't listen to. And I was able to secure, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of things around here just with, you know, better mounting, tape, rubber pads, that kind of thing. But I do have one problem wall right here. It's actually something inside the fireplace wall that resonates. But again, only at ridiculous volumes that I never listen at. So I don't care. At normal listening, everything is just so well blended and balanced. So I'm going to be doing two tests, but take these with a huge grain of salt. This is not some scientific controlled environment. This is not indicative of what this sub can do or what you're going to get out of it. This is just what these are doing in my room at my settings. But it is an apples to apples comparison because it's exactly the same tuning, same house curve, same volumes, etc. that I did my SB16 tests at. So we'll be able to see at least the actual difference in real life. Now I'll do two tests, one with both subs. That's what I did before and that's what I listened to. And then I'll just do a test with one sub. And that's not really for me, but I want to show people exactly the difference between a single and dual subs. A lot of people are under the misconception that doubling your subs doubles your volume, and that couldn't be further from the truth. It's all about balance and even frequency response in a room, not so much adding more oomph. It does help a little bit. Sometimes it's noticeable, sometimes not, but you'll be able to see exactly what the difference is. So, Got REW set up. Let's start the sweeps. So first of all, just to show you, this is my baseline tuning in the room without the house curve. You can see that with these two subs and the four drivers in this room, it is a fantastically flat response. This is, of course, no smoothing. And I have solid, solid down to, I'm going to call it nine hertz in this room before it meaningfully starts to dip. And then it's a nice slow dip all the way down into the low single digits. Well, minor problem. I'm running into clipping at the microphone. <laughs> we're, we're over 115 dB and I'm just out of headroom. So I'm not gonna exactly show you what the limits of these are because I don't have a professional SPL meter and I'm not gonna buy one just for this test, but I've never had this before. So here at least is the final chart that I can make. And looking at the microphone specs, yes, we are pushing beyond its boundaries. It's uh, it's crashing at 120 dB. So, I mean, it's more than 10 dB above what I had before. And that's certainly well above what I need. Okay, so unfortunately not exactly the result I want to show, but at least confirmation that, yeah, it's a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and shut one off now. We'll just do one just to... See what happens. And here you can see the difference between two, which is the green line, and one, which is the dark red line. This is at the same level. I just turned one off in mini DSP and ran the same test. So this is the exact difference in volume. Uh, looks like right around five, six, depending on where you're looking, dB difference across the board. And it's obviously very even. So that's what you get by doubling your subs is right there. <sighs> the problems you face with bass. <laughs> so 
So I hope this helps somebody and it was at least entertaining and a little educational. And by the way, if you want a great track to find all the things vibrating in your house, this is it right here. Lots of different tones. Just unplug everything but your subs. And it's just hitting tons of different bass tones, punches, bass drum, bass guitar, and it makes it really easy to go around and secure what you can. That's it. See you guys next time.